To be a producer, you don't necessarily have to know how to play instruments, but you have to know what kind of sounds you want, and you basically either have to get those sounds from you know strictly sampling or gathering live musicians. So you're basically using musicians and sounds as tools um, or colors to create the, the overall vision. Like when you hear a doc a lot of people you know can know like what a Dr. Dre beat sounds like. That's not necessarily because he played the piano. It's because he has that kind of sound in his head, and he knows how to push and get those sounds from a variety of musicians and put it together. In my case, um, I'm usually relying on myself to actually play those sounds, so I'm almost wearing two hats. Let me let me compose something, but let me, let me also see how is this going to fit into the bigger picture of the song. You know, making tracks starts many different ways for me. This last weekend, I was playing actually a jazz show and Shock G from Digital Underground, he was a, a producer who actually produced a lot for Tupac. And he produced a song like I Get Around. So he came up to the piano and he started kind of like playing the chords and he was showing me the chords. So then I was, you know, earlier, I was just kind of like playing chords he was showing me like. I might actually think to myself, that sounds a little too jazzy for today's standards, but maybe I, I, I would think, okay, maybe I'll just try to make some sort of old school sounding beat. So then what I'll try to do is start layering it. Let me add a bass to it. You know, just give that low, low end. So then I might say, okay, I, I feel like this has an old school kind of vibe, so I'll, I'll find drums that have kind of like a old school 808 flavor. Um, maybe on this stylistically, I feel like it would match, so. Um, and I might listen to it, I might say, okay, you know what, it feels like it's dragging a little bit. Let me speed up the tempo, so. I happen to remember how the beat used to go, so I remember there was like a piano line that went. So I'll, you know, start adding little kind of, what I call ear candy, little things to add. Now that, I might choose to add, you know, an effect to it, like a delay. So it gives it kind of a spacey feeling. But then a lot of times, no matter what the genre, people will stack the drums to make them sound fatter. So right now, um, I have certain drums going, but I may want to add a clap to the snare. I'm just choosing to do an old school laid back beat. Usually I probably would not choose to do that, but again, like you just never know where the inspiration is going to come from. I didn't know that I was going to run into Shock G and he was going to make me think of some old song like that. So I'll probably add like old school record scratches and anything to kind of remind people of that flavor. When you're making a track, you know, unless you're doing some instrumental thing or you're composing for movies, is that somebody's gonna have to write a rap or sing on top of it. So you have to leave it somewhat open. Picture, how will somebody write to this? And then you can start breaking it down too, like making it simpler for the verse and adding sounds for the chorus. I like this sound, I know it catches your attention, but I could it could be used in a lot of ways. I could double the bass, I could go. Or I could do sort of what's known as arpeggiating, like kind of. Or I could do a melody like. Or I might decide, you know, it's just too much. I, I might switch sounds, I might, you know, if I was really trying to be old school, that people would recognize, you know, from the early 90s. and. probably too much for most people so anyhow that's that's the basic process and then beyond making the track a producer is also the one who is working with the writer okay let me let me make sure we have a hit song written this how, how does the hook sound what is the song about what um, now let me produce the vocals what kind of vocal performance can I get from the singer let me make them sing it more this way or that way um, and in my case since I know music I'm also you know suggesting the different vocal arrangements and harmonies and things like that. So for me, it's really just, you know, starting from scratch and hopefully trying to get a song that, you know, the world will connect to.